Hey, what's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome to this new video. Today we're in West Haven, Utah at Edge Archery. So uh, these guys have been a huge help. They have a great facility here. And uh, as you know, I'm just getting into archery. This is just like my second time ever shooting. Uh, so I don't claim to be an expert whatsoever. However, uh, I've been talking with these guys a lot that work here. There's some pro shooters here that have given me a ton of great information and I'm looking into getting my first bow. So I thought it'd be cool to be able to share that information with you guys. So today we're talking about what is the best first compound bow for hunting or target shooting. So let's dive in. Today we're talking about the PSE Stinger X. Now uh, this bow is awesome. After doing a bunch of research, after talking to all the pros here at the shop, this is the one that they recommend time and time again for a first time shooter. Uh, it's a great bow. It's got a ton of adjustability, so you can shoot it you know, regardless of your skill range. You can shoot it regardless of your size, of your height, of your strength. Uh, it's just one of those bows that can really grow with you. You know, There's a lot of adjustability in it, and that's one of the key things that you want in a first bow uh, because you know as your skill level increases you want to be able to have the bow sort of increase with you right okay so first up brace height brace height is just the distance between here and here and uh, this one has a seven and a half inch brace height which is pretty average you know normally you're between seven and eight inches or so uh, when you have a longer brace height it allows it's a little more forgiving to shoot because the arrow is going to leave your string a little bit sooner so anything that you do over here isn't going to affect the trajectory as much when you have that long longer brace height. When you're shorter in there, um, it stays on the string longer. It means the arrow is going to move a little bit faster, but it also means any movements up here are going to transfer onto the arrow. So a seven and a half is a really good kind of medium. It's a little bit more forgiving um, and it's just a little bit easier to shoot. So it's a good start for a beginner bow. Axle to axle, we're just talking from here to here. This one is 32 and a half inches. Again, average is between 30 and 35. So this is coming right in the middle there. And uh, you know, if you have a longer bow, it's a little bit more stable. Shorter bows are a little easier to maneuver and stuff like that, you know, if you're hunting a bunch and carrying it around a bunch, uh, but the longer bows give you a little more stability. So this is a, a really good right in between, still gives you that stability, and it's still manageable in terms of transportation. So this has a 75% let off, and all that really means is once I get to full draw, it's going to let off 75% of the, like the pounds that I'm pulling back all that way. So I'm pulling back, I'm pulling back, I'm pulling back, and then as soon as I'm back, it's 75% easier, and it's, it's really, really easy to hold right now. And again, that 75% is a, it's a pretty average number. Some people like them higher, some people like them lower, which is why I think they came right in at that 75. So here's one of the big claims to fame for this bow is that the draw length range, the adjustability in draw length. So it'll go all the way from 21 inches up to 30 inches, which is a really big span. You know, children can shoot this with the lower end and then all the way up to adults, you know, to six plus feet can, uh, can pull this back and, and have enough range in there. So it's really nice that it gives you that adjustability and it makes it really easy easy to adjust as well. So you can kind of see right down here, uh, this is how you adjust it. So you've got A, I think is your longest, all the way down to P is your shortest, and then uh, some other adjustments here. So, so you don't have to have any major tools to adjust. You can do it right at the field, right while you're shooting, and it's super quick and super easy to adjust. But one of the absolute coolest options about this bow is it has a performance mode and a grow with me mode. So it's as simple as just moving this cable between the two options. And with the grow with me, it has a little bit easier pull, it's a little more forgiving, a little bit easier for beginners. And then, uh, you know, as you grow or say you want to go hunting or something like that, and you want a little more speed and power out of it, you just flip it over to performance and it's literally just as easy as moving this cable. So it's a really cool option. Uh, and again, adding a lot of versatility to this bow. So next up is the weight of the draw. This bow is sold in 40, 50, 60 or 70 pound draws and that's the max. So if you buy a 70 pound draw, you can scale it down to like a 40 pound draw and if you buy a 60 pound max draw you can scale that down to somewhere in the 30 something like that so again really great for adjustability as you grow maybe you know you start out on the lightest it'll go but as you get a little stronger as you get a little more confident you start raising that up uh, the other option is you know if you if you've got kids who want to shoot it or something like that you can adjust it down so that they can shoot it so uh, really really nice adjustability and finally price wise I don't like to get into price too much because it varies so much depending on when you're seeing this video where you get it stuff like that but to give you a ballpark range Right as of right now uh, at Edge Archery, they have this bow, just the bow listed for $299.99. You can get the package for $399.99 or you can get the upgraded package for $449.99. So that gives you an option kind of between that $300 and $450 range uh, and it's 
you know, it's an investment that's gonna last you a long, long time. Um, he did say, you know, if you stick with archery over the next two or three years, you might wanna upgrade from something like this, but this is a fantastic starter bow for the first couple years of really getting your skills down with archery. That bow is a blast to shoot. So much fun, really accurate, and like a complete beginner like myself can shoot it. So uh, I think it's a great way to go. The PSE Stinger X, huge shout out to Edge Archery for making this happen. It was really cool to be able to come in here, talk to them, get their experience, figure out what you know they would recommend. And then even once they showed me the bow, they showed me the tech specs and they broke down for me exactly what those things mean, like I just did for you guys. So uh, these guys have a great staff. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video insightful and useful. Uh, let me know if you guys have any other recommendations for best first bows down in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know you want to see more archery videos. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next week on Green Light Shooting. Thanks so much.